Handicapper Steve here, handicapping the racing from Maidan Racecourse here on night two of the World Cup Carnival. It's Thursday, the 28th of January, 2021. We're going to look at all the races on the program for Maidan, but before I get on to that, remember to please follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Kit 5 for more selections for race courses around the world. I mean, around the world. Let's get to the racing. We have six races to look at. The first race, though, is for the Arabians. It's the Group 1 Al Maktoum Challenge Round 1. It's a Group 1 event going for a purse $49,000. Race for four olds and upwards. We have nine horses heading to the dirt. The distance of ground of 1,900 meters or a mile 3 16th on that dirt surface. I'm going to take the three horse Bendar as a top selection. We'll go 3 5 7 in the Tri Cash Trifecta. Three 57 Tri Cash Trifecta Top Selection 3 Horse Bendar, this 8 year old horse here, Fernando Yara gets the mount. Fernando Yara, best to be remembered by the um, winning, I, I believe he won the uh, 2006 um, Belmont on Jazil and also won the, uh, with Envan Silver, won the, uh, the 2006 uh, British Cup Classic at Churchill. Great year for him that year, and I think he was only like 17 or 18 years old. Uh, but uh, since he's been coming to the Middle East, he's been riding very good. Uh, but this Bendar, he hasn't been seen in uh, in a, quite a few months, nearly a year. That came here at Maidan, a mile and a quarter in the Group 1 Amaktoum Challenge round um, three last time out. And he won by three quarters length, and he was from a stupidly wide poster. He went to the front end, because that was the best way he could uh, win that day. Because you need to save ground, you need to be forwardly placed. From the outside, he left out of the gate, and he sat on the front end all throughout, and he held on to a very nice victory. Decreased margin late, but he had to be used a lot early. Coming here off the bench, better post draw, has forwardly speed. I think he could really run a good race. Two back in the Maktoum Challenge round two last year over the mile three sixteenths here. He finished second by one three quarter legs. Again, drawn a little bit too wide off the bench. I, you know, he needed the race. He just kind of hit the wall in the final furlong there. And then prior to that, he ran on um, at Abu Dhabi on the turf at a conditions race over the 2200 meters or mile three eighths. And the horse just on the lawn really didn't do anything. Beat nobody home. It wasn't his day to win. And then prior to that, uh, here at Maidan on the dirt in December of 2019 a mile 3 16th in a local group 3 the horse finished 6th that day by 21 lengths and um, you know just didn't really have the best beginnings and after that really just was behind the A ball but after that race after the race at Abu Dhabi he really went up a lot he's getting the better trip again today and I think a 5 to 1 he's a very likely winner so let's take him to recap my selection for the first from Maidan, it's the Group 1 Al Maktoum Challenge Round 2 for the Arabians. Let's take the three-horse Bendar. We'll go 3-5-7 in the Tri-Cash Trifecta. Let's get to the second event. Race number two from Maidan. It is the Al Bastiga Trial. It's a conditions race going for a purse $50,000. Race for three-year-olds here. We have a field of 15 horses going 1,900 meters or mile 3 16 on the dirt surface. I'm going to take the 11-horse Leopardo as a top selection. We'll go 11-8-9 in the Tri-Cash Trifecta. 11-8-9 Tri-Cash Trifecta. Top selection 8, 11-horse Leopardo. The Strio Colt by... Cairo Prince. William Buick gets them out from Mark Johnston. The horse's most recent out came 20th of November at Wolverhampton in the UK. 1,800 meters in a nursery handicap. And the horse been a second by a neck that day. And, you know, he was just a little lackadaisical that day from the, coming from behind. He sat back early, you know, under a drive most of the race. He excelled late, but he, he just kind of was lazy. Coming here, hopefully they can concentrate him. I think he could really win a good race. Keep in mind also, he was carrying a ginormous weight on his back that day, 140 pounds. Today he's going to only carry 121 pounds, so 19 less pounds from his last race. You know, I think he will really show up. You know, and also, I think he has some forwardly pace, which I think could really do well on the surface. Because two back at Chelmsford uh, in November of 2020, a mile and a quarter conditions race, he showed some forwardly pace. He finished third by head. He stalked. He had a little bit of a turn of foot. You know, I didn't think it was a half bad race over the mile and a quarter. And then prior to that, in early October of 2021, mile and a novice race at Newcastle, the horse went by three lengths and, you know, didn't break that well, but recovered after that. Great turn of foot and won easily. With every single race, he's been getting better and better. Drawn well, has some forwardly pace. At 7-1, to one, I think he's a very likely winner, and I think he can improve off his last runs to the point of he'll be my best bet of the night. So to recap my selection for the second from Maidan, it's the Alpastica trial. Let's take the 11-horse Leopardo. We'll go 11-8-9 in the Tri-Cash trifecta. It's race number three. 
Race number three, it is the Zabil Turf, presented by Longines. It's, it's a listed handicap going for a purse of $88,000, race for three-year-olds and upwards. We have 15 horses going 2,000 meters or a mile and a quarter on the turf course. I'm going to take as a top selection here the 10-horse Bright Melody. We'll go 10-12-1 in the Tri-Cash Trifecta. 10-12-1 Tri-Cash Trifecta, top selection 10-horse Bright Melody. Four-year-old called by Dabawi, Godolph and Doan, Charlie Appleby trains, James Doyle gets the mount. The horse's most recent on came 30th of July. Goodwood, a mile and a quarter and a handicap there, and the horse been seven by three and a quarter lengths there. Didn't break all that well. It was kind of rushed after that to the front end, and you just kind of hit the wall late. It wasn't his day to win after all said and done. Coming here, lesser quality horses, hopefully breaking a little bit better. I think he's in more realistic spot to win. Two back on the second of July in Paris with Longchamp, a mile and a quarter and a list of stakes, and the and that afternoon the horse um. Finished um where are we? Finished third by three quarters in length, and he had a decent starting position. He just couldn't quicken up late, but I've seen a lot worse races from him. And then prior to that, last got 17th of June, a mile and a half and a handicap. The horse finished loved by eight lengths, drawn stupidly wide as the three to one four excuse me nine to two Luke one favorite. This horse just really couldn't get into it, and you know it just wasn't his day to win. I think the mile and a half got to him, and then prior to that, in June uh, 3rd, 2020, Kemp did a mile and a quarter in the Group Three tr uh, Classic Trial. He finished third by four lengths there and he moved a little bit late i didn't think it was a half bad race coming from mid pack but over the mile a quarter here lesser quality horse from the last few fast ground at six to one he's very likely a winner along with the eight horse here um uh, excuse me it was along with the 12 horse al mason excuse me jim crowley getting the mount for a and charlie Appley, which you don't see very often but um the horse's most recent race at uh, Newmarket in july over the mile a quarter in that heritage handicap i thought it was a decent fifth place finish and the race before that Newmarket over the mile a quarter wasn't half bad at all he's the kind of horse he goes up a lot with um fast ground he can sit closer uh like he won on the front last time out at, uh, or like he did last time out at um new market you know at eight to one we'll give him a shot also but i do prefer the other good often before him but a horse definitely using your place pots but to recap my selection for the third it is the zabiel turf i'm gonna take as a top selection here the 10 horse bright melody give kudos to the 12 horse al mason we'll go 10 12 1 in the tri cash trifecta 10 12 in the place pot to race for the feature Race number four from Adon. It is the Group 2 Cape Verde Stakes. It's a Group 2 event going for a purse of $163,000. Race for three-year-olds and upwards. We have nine horses going 1,600 meters or a mile on the turf course. I'm going to take the nine-horse Summer Romance as a top selection. We'll go 9-5-1 in the Tri-Cash Trifecta. 9-5-1 Tri-Cash Trifecta. Top selection, nine-horse Summer Romance. Four-year-old filled by Kingman. William Buell gets the mount for Charlie Appleby. The horse's most recent out came 2nd of August at Goodwood. Uh, excuse me, 2nd of August at Deauville, one mile, don't know how I messed that up, but at Deauville, one mile in the group one pre-Rothschild, and the horse finished six by 13 lengths there. It was with them early on, but then just completely hit the wall. I think just the better horses got to her. Coming here, lesser quality horses, back facing the ladies. I think this horse is in a better spot to win. Two back in the group three, Princess Elizabeth Stakes, Epsom, mile 16 July the 4th, and the horse won by three quarters length there, and start got the lead and just kept going it was an all-around easy race could have probably won by more but it's you know it, 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 an all-around decent effort and then prior to that though in the thousand guineas in new market the horse went crap one mile there the horse finished eighth by 10 lengths other than driving just wasn't really doing any, anything and dead until the injury the horse didn't break either you have to break in the in the guineas and then prior to that in the dick pool sticks at salisbury six for on september 2019 the horse finished third by four and a half lengths there and um, you know ran okay over the six furlongs but wants a longer trip getting it today to the mile you know of some decent races not facing the world's toughest horses five to two let's take her um you know looking over your play spots your second likeliest winner i think would be the five horse quiet times uh maxime guillon comes in to ride the horse from uh france most recent race at deauville in july in you know, december wasn't half bad um has a freshness fa factor here um you know we'll give her a shot at 15 to one but the Godolphin horse looks very hard to beat on paper, and they do very well in these group races, especially on turf. But to recap my selection for the fourth, it is the Group 2 Cape Verde. Let's take the 9-horse Summer Romance. We'll give kudos to the 5-horse Quiet Times. We'll go 9-5-1 in the Tri-Cash Trifecta, 9-5 in the Place Pot. Let's get to the fifth. 
Race number five from Maidon. It is the UAE Thousand Guineas. It's a condition illicit stakes going for a purse of hundred twenty five thousand dollars. Race for three year olds here. We have a field of seven fillies going the distance of ground is sixteen hundred meters or a mile on the dirt surface. I'm gonna take the six horse soft whisper. We'll go six seven three in the tri cash trifecta. Six seven three tri cash trifecta. Top selection is the six horse soft whisper. Get off and don't say Bidzor trains and La Franco de Tori. Frankie de Tori gets them out on this three-year-old play by the Bowie. The horse is most recent out of game, 7th of January here at Maidan's 10 furlongs in the Guineas trial. And the horse went by two and a half lengths. His first start, or first time th stepping on a dirt surface, excuse me, can't speak, was a recipe for success that day. And this horse stalked early on, slowly moved her way up, got the lead, and then just took off clear. Could have probably won by more. It was an all-around good effort. Second off the bench, has the speed to win here. I think this horse could really go a long way in this one. Two back in the Phillies handicap of Pontefract, soft ground one mile September the 24th. The horse went by four lengths there, facing very lesser quality horses. This horse stalked again that day, got the lead, and then just took off clear. But that was against very lesser quality horses, but still a very good effort. And then prior to that, Salisbury, August 2020. One mile in the handicap, the horse went by one quarter lengths, and you know, it took her a few starts to break the main that day. Um, or, but she got the job done, um, you know, from a again from a tracking position, um, and getting a dream trip. And you know, looking over the race before that, Leicester and Salisbury, the, the debut wasn't bad at uh, Salisbury, and the Leicester race, if the horse would just run a little bit better, I think she could have, you know, did, did get got that good trip. But she's been proving a lot back to dirt, you know, and very likely win her here, but nine to five, she'll, she'll probably be one of your shortest priced horses on the card but to recap my selection for the fifth it is the uae thousand guineas let's take the six or soft whisper we'll go six seven three in the tri cash trifecta let's get to the nightcap from made on the nightcap, the sixth race for Maidan. It's Longines Spirit Collection Trophy Handicap. It's a handicap going for per $68,000 race for three-year-olds and upwards. We have a field of 20 horses entered, but only 16 could go. The distance of ground of 1,600 meters or a mile on the turf course. As a top selection, we'll take the four-horse Cape Frances. I'm going to go 485 in the Tri-Cash Trifecta. 485 Tri-Cash Trifecta. Top selection, selection the four-horse Cape Francis. Five-year-old gilded by Frankel, Andre Arzini gets them out for Ed Walker. The horse's most recent outing came the 4th of September at Ascot, yielding ground one mile in handicap. And the horse finished third by two and three quarter lengths there. And, you know, this horse just had, the, you know, a little bit of a rough trip, kind of boxed in, moved a little bit late. You know, I didn't think it was a bad race. Hopefully with a better trip today, drawn very well. I think this horse could go a long way. Also, quicker ground should suit this one. Had quick ground before that on the 8th of August at Ascot, one mile on the handicap, and the horse been a second by two and a quarter lengths there. And again, from stock position, quick enough nicely, stayed the trip well. You know, just need that extra turn of foot, but, you know, there's nothing bad about that race. Definitely an improvement off the race before, which was a disaster at Haydock. Soft ground, July the 18th, one mile on the handicap. The horse finished 10th by nine and a quarter lengths there, and just never really, um, you, you know, had it was comfortable that they kind of you know was lax days goal never really concentrating very weird run for the horse there um and then prior to that a haydock one mile good ground in june the horse went by one quarter length drawn a little bit wide that day but got the job quickening up nicely um you know facing lesser quality horse today drawn well it's seven to one a very likely winner another horse you want to keep an eye on is the eight horse chance the uh simon christopher at uh at Simon and Ed Christopher trained uh, five year old by Lupita Vega. James Doyle gets them out. Most recent race at Newmarket on the Bludge Bludge course in uh, October, where the horse won, was a very good run. And those races before that, York and Sandown, weren't bad at all. Um, since, um, you know, after the four year old campaign wasn't that good, but the five year old campaign, or excuse me, three year old campaign wasn't good. Four year old campaign it was very good. Coming here to the um, five year old campaign today, I think the horse should really uh, improve a lot. That makes sense. No, it didn't. But uh, it, the horse has been improving in the last few starts. A 10 to 1. We'll give her a shot on the uh, place pots also. But to recap my selections for the sixth from Aidan, uh, let's take as a top selection the four horse Cape, Fran Cape Francis. We'll also give kudos to the eight horse chance. We'll go 4 8 5 in the tri cash trifecta. So 4 8 in the place pot. So good luck to all. And please follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Kit 5. Good luck, everybody.